Go Philly! Go Philly, Philly, Philly! So sorry, you patriots. You suck ass! Hello world, I'm Maya Sander Maher and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about. But before I dive into today's topic, I have a few things to mention. Number one, please be sure to click up here in the upper right hand corner. This is a video about a um, adolescent with autism and this video has evidently gone viral and I'd also like to recommend that you guys uh, check out uh, my work my written blogs on wordpress.com you can find these under hello world 240 at wordpress.com that's hello world 240 at wordpress.com anyway I wanted to let everybody know that I am here at one of my favorite places, I'm gonna get me some chips and some dip and some salsa and something to drink. Um, other things that are going on in my life, uh, my cat AJ is sick with uh, a cold and I was out getting him some medicine today, so. Say cheese. I have to tell you the craziest thing that happened to me on uh, Monday evening. Number one, I had a bad headache and I needed to get some other things for the house and things that I needed in order to take care of my body. And I went to Walgreens and CVS Pharmacy because they you know, carry most of the stuff that I needed. And this when I was there, I, uh, yes, I still write checks. But I was writing uh, one check for Walgreens and I wrote the other one for CVS. And, Surprisingly enough, their check machines did not work very well at Walgreens. My check, yeah, their machine did not read my check, and the lady at the front desk, the counter, was an absolute idiot. And she basically thought that I needed to call my bank because she thought that just because her machine was not reading my check meant it was my fault. It meant that it was the bank's fault. No, lady, I don't think that's how it works. Usually, when it comes to writing checks, it takes more than a week for a, uh, an ACH and a bank to clear a check. So I don't think that's the issue. I think your problem is uh, you're dealing with an age where everybody's uh, making quick payments with debit cards, credit cards, uh, Apple Pay, PayPal, uh, I guess uh, Android Pay, whatever it is. So I don't think there was anything wrong with my checks. And then the second one, I um, I went to another one and they still, their machine still wasn't reading my checks. So I was so upset that I decided to go to Target and purchase a, uh, a few items using another method of payment that I luckily have. So I was able to uh, get what I need and leave. And then if that wasn't enough, I went to go get myself a couple of hot dogs at Ikea and when I was sitting down, there were two gr two women that were in their 40s, older than I was, and they had the gall to make fun of my haircut. What is with people nowadays? I can't even go and enjoy myself without hearing them ridicule you for the way you look, ridicule you because you happen to have a bad haircut, so you're automatically um, a lesbian, or you're automatically transgender, or non-binary gender. Either way, people like that deserve to get uh, the evil eye from me, or get the stare. They wonder why in the world they're scared. Well, the truth is, where are people's manners anymore? So, the way I handled it was I just, I gave them both the stare or I gave them both the evil eye because they were making fun of my looks and they were intimidated and they thought I was gonna hit them. And the truth is, I have no desire to hit uh, people that are catty like that because um, it's just not worth it and I just don't want to ruin my reputation. But I do not put up with people that think they can bully other people and push them around like that. 
well, what I did tell them was again, I gave them a stare the second time and I told them that, uh, that they were being rude by asking a question, uh, where are, the man where are your manners that your mother taught you? And if you feel bad about yourselves, get yourself some help or something. And they walked out laughing because they were so embarrassed and they knew that I wasn't going to take any crap from them. But um, I'm over it now, but it's surprising at how many people uh, will go and make go to Great Heights to make fun of somebody else because they feel bad about themselves. However, I just I don't want to keep talking about it because I'm trying not to let other people like that quote dim my light. And I heard about that when I was watching a lot of uh, videos of bullying. That you can't let people like that dim your light, and that's what I'm trying to do. But I just I'm trying to record that in my vlogs. outside all day today and we've even had some thunderclaps and some massive downpours especially earlier when I was at work let me tell you it has been an incredibly wacky winter for the city of Atlanta and the state of Georgia period because on one hand last month we were at the opposite end of the spectrum where uh, we had a massive arctic blast for a week and the biggest our biggest one was when we had snow and we had ice and the city of Atlanta shut down for uh, about two days and that first day it did not climb out of the teens and then the next day it went all the way up to the 40s and then uh, we have today where it's in the 60s and it's raining and you have thunderstorms which is a spring weather for Minnesota whereas the, the teens like we had last month that was that's like typical Minnesota weather where I grew up oh. now um, I am not wearing any uh, jackets I'm just wearing a cardigan and I'm just wearing a, a t-shirt and a pair of uh, leggings today I'm fine I'm fine I, do I have an umbrella with me yes but it's broken but I have to try to make a use out of it anyway. So I managed to get this uh, umbrella uh, opened and I managed to keep it at a steady rate even though uh, some of the poles in here are broken. And I struggled with it this morning in uh, downtown Atlanta because the, uh, the winds were picking up and I had to constantly hold down the umbrella so that uh, my, my umbrella wouldn't break anymore. Okay. What else have I been up to? Uh, as you saw, I just I was at uh, one of my favorite places, the cheap place here in Atlanta called Willie's, which is a Southwest uh, Tex-Mex type of a restaurant. And, they have tacos and burritos, they have chips and salsa, and they have queso cheese, which is really good. It's not like your traditional nacho cheese, it's a white cheese, and it's to die for. So I did that, and then uh, I got a uh, medicine for the cat, or rather it's not a medicine, it's a probiotic, because uh, Applejack has been having a cold, and she's been sneezing, and she's been uh, she hasn't really been herself um, and well when I get home I need to feed her that and then I have um, a bunch of other things I need to get done so anyway I'm on my way back to the train station and I'm about to cross the street over here and the street Moreland Avenue always makes me nervous these are my dream homes Eventually, I have a dream to move out of uh, the city of Tucker because, again, I live six blocks away from the Marta bus stop, and I don't really care for that area outside of my complex, even though it's a nice place and I, my neighbors are great, but I want something 
that's accessible to work because I do a lot of things inside the perimeter. This is what we call a, which is what we call a, a DeKalb County here in the uh, state of the state of Georgia in the Atlanta area in Fulton County. That's inside the perimeter ITP, and I live on the outskirts, just right on the tip outside the perimeter. And the transportation just isn't that great. And then I'm a city person anyway, and I've always been a fan of skylines, and a fan of all the different places that you can eat, and all the different events. Uh, and then I've always wanted to live right on the train ride, the train line right here in Atlanta, because it would be convenient. I don't care how big and expensive the taxes are. <laughs> See, see what I mean? The wind picks up and it pulls my umbrella, just like this. <laughs> but luckily it's uh, not pouring down rain. But you get my idea. You see, now I'm walking to the train station and it is ridiculously close to those apartments. Now those are for rent, but I would like something for sale inside the perimeter for the cat and I and something where I would be able to look out at the skyline and somewhere where I would have a rooftop where I could see the skyline and take beautiful footage of, uh, of the city of Atlanta, especially at night. Okay, so. I don't know if you can see it or not, but if you look beyond those oil tanks and the train, you see that brick building over there? That is a MARTA train station right behind me. And you see how convenient that is? And this train station is just two stops east of Georgia State University. And it is one stop east of uh, Java Cat's Cat Cafe. What I would like to do now is dive into today's topic, and this is on uh, tips and advice for uh, parents and caregivers of individuals on the spectrum. But first, I would like to share my concern, and I think it's growing. So, what I'm noticing more and more is that there are parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, that have a series of networks and a series of people they worked with, and people who they currently work with, and people who are their neighbors, and people who work at their local pharmacies, and they go to their houses of worship, and they have all these skills and all these areas of expertise that I feel their kid feel that these children, adolescents, and, teen and young adults could benefit from. I mean, these people might know of some good living arrangements for these individuals. These same networks might be able to provide them a job. And what are these parents doing? Instead of reaching out to these networks, these parents are reaching out to all of these social services. and They're getting them on social security and they're fighting to uh, see to it that they're eligible for social security. And it's just really bad. And I'll a lot of these uh, young adults and these adolescents and these children, their lives are being destroyed and they are sitting at home being depressed and they're sitting at home being discouraged because they're getting on social security and because their parents are encouraging them to get into these employment supported programs and all of these things that have these big long waiting lists and something that they probably will never accomplish or something that keeps dropping them. No, you as parents need to be uh, connecting with your networks. You as parents need to be uh, having your networks uh, teach them 
job skills and your networks need to get them into positions not dumping them off on social security and not dumping them off on all of these employment supports that are all wrong for them in the first place and not dumping them off with these wrong employers that are going to uh, make fun of them and bully them because they don't understand and they don't want to understand and it is absolutely alarming so my suggestion to you mom dad aunt uncle whoever you are listening to this you need to uh, get off your butt and you need to uh, stop listening to what other people tell you in regards to social security because uh, it isn't all that it's cracked up to be and social security that is not meant for you to depend on social security should not be uh, paying for your child to live in the lap of luxury no if you need social security great but that should be on a temporary thing well like i said you need to be teaching your child uh, to get involved with your friends and your families whether it's working in a restaurant learning skills how to be a chef or learning how to program computers whatever it is this uh, the social security system and these other things absolutely need to stop and i mean stop now and yes i may sound a little ableistic here and i may be trying to strike a chord and again i don't think any of you are bad parents i don't think any of you are bad moms or bad dads i just think you're making some bad decisions and i think you need to turn around and fix them and i think you need to uh, think about what's best for your child and not what's best what you think is best for them you need to listen to your child your adolescent and your adult and you need to help them grow not dump them on somebody else not dump them on someone on a system like social security they're not going to help your child build networks they're not going to help last week that I think would be good blogging material so please be sure to stay tuned for those but if you like what I'm doing please be sure to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe and also be sure to share these with your network and anybody in the autistic community or autism community whatever you wish to call that and be sure to uh, share these with your support groups and with your teachers and your mentors and especially in this video I also want you guys to enjoy these vlogs for the sake of entertainment and for the sake of uh, someone who has a bit of a sense of humor but um, until next time I'm Maya Sundermeyer I'm about to sign off but uh, please be sure to look for new content every Sunday and Monday and be sure to also uh, check out my social media pages so check out Facebook which is Hello World with Maya Sundermeyer if you find me on Twitter I'm at summergirl43 if you find me on um, Instagram I'm Hello World with Maya S which is all one word Hello World with Maya S and again check out my written works on uh, wordpress.com those are Hello World 240 at wordpress.com that's Hello World 240 at wordpress.com ladies room today and 
on my way back to the bus, I heard sirens going off and I turned around and sure enough, there was a cop on a motorcycle and I heard sirens coming from that little motorcycle. I had no idea that uh, motorcycles had sirens that were just as loud as an ambulance or just as loud as a uh, regular uh, squat car.